Simon Baggett, who is the owner of Simco Training, which is a sales training company for the automotive world. One of the things I want to come back to is simple. I think lots of people, when they're creating something, imagine like a very complex, huge, gigantic thing and dive in trying to create this complex system. But you looked for where the problem was, where the pain was, and then created something simple to solve that salute, to solve their problem. Yeah. It's not an outcome goal. It's the process goal i mean sure that might be a coincidence but it's when you broke it down into those small chunks now i'm not telling anyone they don't know how do you eat an elephant we all know this yep. break it down into small chunks yep. and have a process goal not an outcome goal uh, and I, that, that was this, one of the best things i learned and i think this really fits in beautifully at the moment with the, my new way of thinking about this we, we've got we, we kind of live in a chaotic world and we have lots of chaos going in our heads and our goal is to create things like a book or a course yep. or a platform. Four fundamentals, you named it, the four fundamentals. You named your IP. So then other people know when they talk about yeah. it, they can name it and they can request it and they can say, actually, how does this apply here? How does this apply here? So you created intellectual property that you can now create more things from, which brings us back around in my, my crazy loop of chaos constraints creation. And na naming something is a constraint. You constrain it to within that name. So what has naming it for you created for you? Does it, I mean, because one of the things it created is it, 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 I think, is it changes the way other people can buy you? Wow, that's a great question. I've never even thought that we've got another um, IP that we can sell there. I've, I've really not even thought about it that way. Um, but I suppose we have. Um, and it's quite interesting. It's maybe speaking to a musician, what comes first, the music or the words? Yeah. I've always struggled with the name until it was written. I mean, the, the, the book, to be fair, the book I had the name for six years, uh, but it's not the name that it ended up being. Um, there's a guy called Joe. I don't know if you know him from Rethink Press. Yeah. Uh, really, really good guy. Um, he turned around and changed the name, uh, Words That Sell Cars. And he had a great idea that this could be just the words that sell series. So it could be the words that sell real estate, the words that sell B2B, the words that sell. So that's the series that we're going to do.